ready. Let's start off with the red corner, talking about the Gunners. James, I'm going to come to you in this one um, because the latest is what we want to know about Bukayo Saka and his fitness and just how much of a part to play he can have this weekend. Yeah, well, I mean, Arteta wasn't exactly forthcoming with it. He's never normally very good with team news, to be honest. And and I think an injury like this, um, he's even less transparent than usual. Um, all we know is that it's a muscular problem. Um, we know that he hasn't trained um, since uh, the injury that he sustained against Lens Tuesday. Um, whether or not he can get a session into his legs either um, on Friday or Saturday, we don't know. Um, I mean, I try to push him on it at the press conference and just say, look, can you at least tell us whether he's had a scan or not that's come back positive? I suggest the fact that he's been selected for England um, for the internationals coming up is a good sign because, you know, had say he had a scan that had come back and, and, uh, and you know, shown a, a tear or some kind of problem, then obviously he wouldn't have been available for Sunday and then would have been ruled out for longer. So speaking to sources around Bakayo, apparently it's touch and go. And I think if the player's got any chance of um, making it, I think he will play. I think, you know, it's a match he doesn't want to miss. He's that kind of character that he will want to play if he's not fully, you know, if he's got any chance of trying to play some part of the game, he'll, he'll want to be involved. Um, and it's obviously a, a bit of a problem position for Arsenal generally, because it's probably the one area of the pitch where they don't have a natural um, replacement. He, he, he's so influential to them. I think you saw it in the Champions League defeat on Tuesday that although they created one or two chances after he went off, they're nowhere near as fluid. And, you know, he's he's, he's somebody who they is kind of the go-to guy, really, on that right-hand side. And while they've got some players who can play on the left, you think about Trossard can play out there, Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus can play out there. You know, even Reese Nelson would prefer to play out on the left. Fabio Vieira would probably rather play on the left. There's nobody who sort of naturally fits on the right-hand side. So if he is missing, it would be a major blow. But I'd, I'd say it's 52-48 that he's more likely to play than not at the moment. But it, it sounds like it's going to be a last-minute decision. See, just, of course, listening uh, to James and hearing that, this definitely is going to give Mikel Arteta a bit of a, a headache in terms of choosing his lineup or having to rejig the lineup. How do you see Arsenal um, lining up if Saka aren't able to play, isn't able to play? Well, personally, I would put Jesus on that right-hand side. He's played there before. He's played there for City. Uh, so I would start with, with Trossard and Ketia and, and Jesus on the right-hand side. You know, they talk of Reese Nelson starting. I don't think he's not ready, in my opinion, for this the size of this game. Uh, and with those three up front, uh, I think that's probably as, about as strong as uh, as Arteta could make it. Listen, he could he could throw a, a spanner in the works and play Havertz at centre forward instead of Inketia, but I, I doubt that. Uh, and actually, I doubt that Havertz will start, and, and certainly I don't believe he should start. But then I guess it's down to how stubborn Arteta is because. If Havertz doesn't start, then everybody will be pointing the finger, as we have been already this season, saying that that signing him and playing him where he has been has been a mistake. So that that one's a big question. But the front three, yeah, I think I would go and Ketty up the pipe and Trossard and uh, Jesus on the right hand side. Rob, you're up in Manchester from the City perspective, and I mean. We know that Pep Guardiola knows Mikel Arteta very, very well. But to hear, I know there's not many teams that probably scare City, knowing how deep they are. But to hear an Arsenal without Bukayo Saka, um, how much of a little sigh of relief do you think the City Sens will be having? Yeah, it's it's massive. Obviously, he's he's one of Arsenal's better attacking players, probably their best attacking player. City haven't defended particularly well this season. I think they've only kept three clean sheets in in twelve games in all competitions. So even though they've been winning games, they have been leaking goals a little bit at the back. Um, and if you take out a player like like Saka out of Arsenal's team, you know, regardless of the other options that they have, and they'll be wary of players like Gabriel Jesus because they know so much about him. Um, you know, Pep Guardiola will be delighted if, if Saka's not on that team sheet on Sunday. Um, you know, it sounds as if that there's half a chance that he, he may play. I think Pep Guardiola will assume, he always assumes that they're going to pick their best team and that these players are going to play. Um, he's also always a little bit cautious around these injury stories with other other teams. Um, always decides that in press conferences he's going to sort of suggest that they're going to play anyway. So I'm sure he'll be planning for for Saka playing. But obviously, if he's not on that team sheet, it's, it's a massive boost to City. 